kidding. No, 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 no! No! Oh, you Your stock was looking good. What's up guys, Victor here. Now, this video is kind of all over the place. It's from a family vacation I took over to the West Coast and Anna Maria Island. So as this video is playing, I'm just going to kind of narrate along and tell you guys what's going on the scenes that are a little bit slower or you guys might not understand. Victor, right? Yes. Nice you. you too. I watch videos all the time. Thank you. Appreciate it. You're on video right now. Really? <laughs> if you don't mind being in the video, no, I'll put that in there. Oh my god. Oh, you kidding. <laughs> Here, hold this real quick. I got him. Sure. Yeah, I've done it multiple times. Just give me some slack. So this scene is from the Rod and Reel Pier, and one thing pier fishermen often struggle with, and I've had to deal with many times in my life, is hooking pelicans. Now, we do not do this intentionally. The pelican does not do it intentionally. They just get confused. They think that someone's trying to feed them, and you end up hooking them. Now before anyone gets their panties in a bunch, please keep in mind that I could have easily edited the scene out, but I wanted to show you guys what it's like sometimes out in the real world of fishing. Oh, pelicans, why do you do this? And as you guys see, the hook was removed, the pelican was unharmed, and everyone went about their day. Go! Go! If you guys ever get caught in this situation, just grab the pelican by the bill, remove the hook, and let him go. Is it slot? Dustin, you want to be in the video? Yeah. Hold your fish up. Justin just got a slot. What was that on? Pinfish. Pinfish on bottom. Watch your lure. Wait and stand up. You're gonna lose him. Yeah, don't lose him. Bring him over here, why? No, 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 no! No! Oh man, that wasn't meant to be. And he sliced you open nasty. That's why. Yeah, that's that snook's gill plate right there. Yeah. That sucks, dude. Sorry. I didn't know that. Well, you, you were gonna keep him or no? I was gonna keep him. Yeah. But I, I can't hold on to fish. So yeah. Damn. Bad. Now watch closely to see just how sneaky these pelicans can be. <laughs> oh, you. I turned my head for one second, this pelican dove from underneath the pier onto my bait, grabbed it, got hooked. I was able to unhook him very easily though. I walked him down to the beginning of the pier in hopes of him not returning, but hooking pelicans is sometimes inevitable. That's the great movie, guys. You guys, this is Chris. I met him on the Rod and Reel Pier. It's been a pleasure. Is it recording? Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. So yeah, cheers. It's been a pleasure fishing alongside you. Yeah. Take you meet. care and we'll uh, look out for you next time we're here. Yeah, next time. He comes here every year on vacation to Rod and Real Pier in Anna Maria. We're here every year, October and May. All right, so long. Yeah. Take care. Take care. Nice meeting you. Yeah, bye. All right, guys, meet my buddy Max right here. What'd you just get? Snook. Nice snook. He's, he's not nice, he's so tiny. <laughs> All this is the smallest snook I've ever caught. Really? Yep. Oh, Justin! Oh, she's got one on. Just reel, 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 reel. Pull it, pull it, pull it. Hard, hard. Crank, crank, reel, crank. Just she got reel. it. <laughs> Just let her get it, let her get it. She got it. Pull it, pull it, pull it. It's almost here. Oh, oh dude, it's, it. oh, it's, oh, it's a gummy. <laughs> it's a gummy. And it held bait like it did. Oh. Then it would be. That's a Mac. I think. It's like, oh, it's like, like a little lady. Eight, ten inches. That's a real one. Oh, oh that's a little yeah, dude, throw them under. Throw them under. Throw them under. Throw them under. Come here, Mac Daddy. Like that. Yeah. They're just too damn fast. This out, guys. I was just cast netting, trying to catch pinfish. I gotta keep a sheep's head in the net. How cool is that? Right there on this grass flat, I'm trying to uh, net some pinfish, and I got the sheep's head. Oh, get him up! Get him up! You got a really good one. Nice. Time to play our snook ups from yesterday. Uh, no video.
Now I'm going to be flying a snook up that I actually caught at the very pier that I'm flying it at, Rod and Reel Pier. I unfortunately do not have any video of the fight. My GoPro batteries were dead when I thought I was recording the snook fight. Right here. Max, if you measure that fish for him, make sure it's keeping. It was. Now was it was really beach. Can you check his belly? Uh-huh. You think my ladyfish will? You know what? Not as much meat as you think. Her snuck. Oh, no way. Look at this. Look what was in his stomach. What? There's a hook in his stomach. Look at that. That's not my hook either. That's someone else's old hook. Oh, yeah. It's rusty. And it goes to show you fish are a lot hardier than people think. say goodbye. This is what your snook looks like after he's been uh, processed. Alright Brooke, what did you catch? Alright, caught my first black drum. I've never ate one of these before, but I heard they're good, so I'm excited to try it. It's really your first black drum? Yeah. Really? I thought you've caught them before. No. I know these guys have a giant rib cage because I can feel it right there. So you never want to fillet through that rib cage. You want to go around it and it looks like it goes here to down there. One thing you love about what reel? My sustain. Oh yeah. Ribs. That is all. So one cool thing about these fish guys is if you open up their mouth, if I can get it open, because what they do is they go up and down the pilings and they eat all the barnacles and shrimp and crabs off of the pilings. Can I close Look at that blue tail. It's yeah. 22. You're in the slot. Yeah. You lost your slot slick, but you got your slot red. Yeah. Call yeah. me. tail, he's been eating a lot of shrimp. That's, that's what happens when they eat a lot of shrimp. They get a nice blue tail. Nice one spot. Oh, now they call. There we go. Look, he has no spot on the other side. No spot. No spot. One spot. That's cool. No spot. Um, Alright guys, welcome to the kitchen, and here I have my snook fillets. I'm just doing some final touches, and over here we actually have a mixture of sheep's head and black drum. And they look pretty similar to the snook, aside from a little bit of a texture difference, but they look pretty damn good. We're going to keep it very simple tonight. I'm actually on a family vacation. My family is coming back soon, and we're going to do a fish fry. We got some of this stuff. I've never used it before. But it's very similar to just a typical restaurant fish fry, so let's get to cooking. Here we go from our fish into our egg wash, into our fish meal. And this stuff smells and tastes great. Ready for our fish to go in the fryer. This is what our fish tacos look like. We just threw it together a little salad with red onion, uh, tomato, avocado, the fish in there, sour cream. Fish tacos looking good. Alright guys, so I am on a family vacation and this is actually part of our family from Slovakia. 
This is Stano, Stanka, Marcella. <laughs> and they don't speak much English. But what did you guys think of your first American fish? Very good. Very good? Stanka? Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> Phenom. <laughs> Phenom. There we go. Three really good words. And I'm glad you guys enjoyed it. This is fresh fish. Really good. Erica, everybody already knows you. What do you think? Very good. Very good. Like always. Yeah. All right, guys, welcome to the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. And I got to give a huge shout out to all these slayers here from Rod and Real Pier. Met a bunch of cool people. I got Quinn over here. We got a slot snook today. And Justin, say what's up. What's up? He got a slot red and he also dropped a slot snug. <laughs> and Dallas, who actually works on the pier, Max down here. Say what's up. What's up? So if you guys watch till the end, what should you comment below? Don't drop your uh, slot snug. <laughs> Don't drop your fish like Justin did. <laughs> till that next one, guys, later. What? <laughs>